all right guys so today's video is about how to connect the 500 smartwatch to android phone without wasting much of a time let's get down to business all right the first thing to do here is to turn on the bluetooth of this smart watch that is your t500 so how do you do that you turn it on this way go to the settings and go to the bluetooth settings up here and switch on the power of the bluetooth like this so once you see it on that means it is switched on another method you can also use is to swipe up this way and toggle on this bluetooth icon here okay this way means it is switched on the next thing to do is to come to your smartphone and switch on your bluetooth data and location if you are using wi-fi switch on your wi-fi like me and switch on your bluetooth and switch on your location okay once you have switched on these three things you are good to go the next thing to do now is to scan the qr code on the smartwatch all right so let's bring out the qr code of the smartwatch we are going to go to the qr code select it this way this is the qr code then use your qr code scanner and scan it as you can see it is up I'm going to take you to the iWatch app download so you can see we are using an android so we are going to google play store select the google play store link and you can see iWatch install it so once it's complete the installation then we are going to continue with the rest of the video as you can see it is up so we are going to select open You can see our iWatch is running already so if you want to log in you can log in with your details here if you are not logging yet or you don't have an account you have to sign up so here i'm going to skip over this step so i don't want to re register so just come up here and skip the whole process by selecting jump over so when you select jump over it's going to go to the home page of the app as you can see it says enable notification select ok now grant notification access to iwatch on your phone and go to the iwatch here select that and toggle it on and switch it on this way now select back option back once again this is the tip you have to grant notification also select ok allow iwatch to access your device location while using app now you have to come here to the equipment tab okay just select this equipment you are going to see connect the device select connect the device select connect as you can see our t500 has come up so select that and you can see it is connecting here it says peer select peer and it's going to peer up as you can see there's an icon on our watch right now okay so you can see on here it says t500 connected use the find device to see if it is going to ring as you can see it is ringing now if you want to get whatsapp notification on your t500 smartwatch come here to notification select that under the personal hub search for whatsapp as you can see whatsapp is here make sure it is toggle on like this okay so that will make you to have notification whenever you get a whatsapp message on your smartphone so i'm going to send a whatsapp message to this smartphone let's see if it's going to come up hi there subscribe now so i'm going to send it as you can see it is now on the watch it says hi there subscribe now so that's a whatsapp message as you can see all right that is how to get whatsapp message on your t500 smartwatch so if you want to change the temperature just come to these settings here and you are going to change the temperature unit select fahrenheit if you want fahrenheit select celsius if you want celsius okay so i want celsius that is what i'm going to leave it at so now if you want to use it to make call let's try and use it to make call if call is going to go through let's try and see if our call is going to go through as you can see it is ringing that shows it is going all right so that means the call has been connected to it but in case you are having issue with your own and you are not able to make call with it just come to your bluetooth settings of your smartwatch and search for the bluetooth of your t500 okay search for it and make sure you connect it like this okay and it's going to connect you can also come to this gear icon here in case you are having media audio problem that is 
you are having every sound coming out from your phone right on the smartwatch and you want to remove it you don't want it then you have to come to this media audio here and toggle it off so once you toggle it off you will still be able to use it to make calls you still be able to input device that is use it to dial numbers you can still also access your contact on your t500 smartwatch but the voices or the audio from the smartphone will be coming out from the smartphone and why that of the smartwatch will come out from the smartwatch so it won't be just only your smartwatch and that is how to fix media audio issues on t500 now you can come to this background notification in case you are having issue with the connection it's not connecting just come here and it's going to help you fix it now you come to self start permission select one button and make sure you grant permission here make sure all permission are granted to iWatch so that iWatch will work okay so let's do that you go back call log allow and go back camera allow go so back once you have done this and you are sure that you have no other permission that is denied you are okay and you can go to the next one the next thing to do is to come to this notification permission here make sure you check it that and see that notification has been opened the next one is electronic power limit so that it won't kill the iWatch in the background. So make sure you have let have always run in the background. Allow. And once you allow it, you are good to go. You can go back and that is that. And if you have any question or any difficulty, please let me know down there in the comment section and I'm going to reply you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and I will see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.